This YCN segment is brought to you by LaValle Building Supply and Middleton Building Supply. Welcome back. YCN Sports Talk. Jeremy Stout, Rob Taylor in studio, and we break down some NFL off-season talk. And obviously, the word on the street is Colin Kaepernick maybe got some word that the Patriots would sign him. I don't know if I believe that. Obviously, he settled his lawsuit with the NFL, so maybe there's going to be some thawing of <laughs> his free agency. But what his lawyer said or his agent that the Patriots have maybe shown some interest, I don't know if I buy that, just from a football aspect. Not, not the political or the kneeling aspect, just football. Would they really get somebody who's been out of the game that long? Oh, the scuttlebutt that I've been following is that if anybody could make that work, it would be Bill Belichick and the Patriots. As we've seen in the past, they've been willing to make those acquisitions of somebody that may have off-field issues right. or reputational issues and rehabilitate them with the sort of Patriot way. But I've heard that also the scuttlebutt is that he's a much more uh, direct fit in Carolina, that he probably ends up there. You know, there's other teams, obviously, that could use him. Um, a huge wild one is uh, Washington with the loss of Alex Smith. Right. They probably could use him more than almost anybody. So my heart of hearts is that he doesn't land in New England and that actually we probably use one of our very early picks, if not our first pick, to select a quarterback in this, in this year's draft. Right, because, I mean, they still have, if they want a backup this season, I know he's not great, but they still have Brian Hoyer. It's not like they're in an emergency. And it's not as if Colin Kaepernick would be the successor to Brady because if Brady's going to play another three or four years, how many more years does Kaepernick realistically have? They could plug so, him in in some kind of a wildcat possibly, scenario like they right, did in New Orleans. Right. Uh, but why take the ball out of Tom Brady's hands? So <laughs> right, exactly. And, 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 and you said in Carolina it's probably much more realistic with Cam Newton being there, so he's already kind of in that hybrid offense mm -hmm. where he can run, he can throw. So it'll be interesting. Obviously, also, we didn't get to Antonio Brown. Him and Art Rooney have decided it's kind of time to part ways. And Joe Flacco traded to the Broncos a couple weeks ago. So we'll touch on that next week in more of our NFL around the around the field it's time for the salt hill pub picks of the week salt hill pub on a food perfect pints live music now here to serve you in five locations all right here we are with the salt hill pub picks of the week last week rob we did the american league playoff teams this week we'll do the national league playoff teams kind of a pre-spring training picks and then we'll get to our picks later in the in the spring training so we'll start with you who do you like for the national league east okay so it's a little bit different from last year's results i think the braves won the division i think uh, the nationals are coming on strong i'm going to go with them to sort of win out and uh, take it from the braves this year yeah i agree with you i think the nationals win that division as well even though bryce harper maybe not going to be resigning with them but they got a good pitching staff they got all the tools i take them who do you have in the central so last year, the Brewers won the division, um, uh, 96 wins, and the Cubs had 95, so pretty close there. Yep. My heart of heart is saying Cubs for the division. Um, I just still think they got the talent. Of course, they're a Theo Epstein uh, right. team, so yep. I, I like their chances. I agree with you again. I take the Cubs. I, you know, They did kind of fall off since they went to the World Series and won it a few years ago, but I think they kind of get back this year, and they win the Central out West. It's kind of a one-man race out there. One-team race is it. Yeah, the team we beat in the yep. uh, World Series is the one I'm going with. I'm going Dodgers. I just think they're still stacked, even though they've lost Machado. Right. I think they're still quite quite a good team. Yeah, they're going to get some players back healthy. Corey Seager is going to be back and healthy, so I, take, I agree with you. I take the Dodgers out west. Now the wild card teams. Your number one wild card, who do you have? Uh, so they won uh, the AL East last year. I think they're going to have a lot of wins, so I'm going Braves. Yep. I think they've got a great team and stacked pitching, so we'll see how well they do this year. Yeah, that National League East is going to be a really good division. Anybody can win that. I'm going to go for the St. Louis Cardinals as my number one wild card team in that Central Division. Who do you have as your fifth playoff team, number two wild card? Uh, so the team that had 96 wins last year and actually won the NL Central, I'm going Brewers to be the second wild card team. All right, and my second wild card team, the Philadelphia Phillies. I think they could still sign Bryce Harper. They could win the division, but I do think they get in as the wild card. So there are our picks for the National League. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rob, for joining me. All right. And thanks for watching. Check out our website, ycnnow.com. Have a great one.